Okay, so it's uh, April 2nd and um, just leaving the budget in and Hiawassee. I thought about taking a zero day here and going fishing and getting a kayak and whatnot, but I'm just gonna keep on trucking. So we got a, a shuttle. The guy takes you up to Dick's Gap at 9 a.m. So we'll see. Typical Ford van, it's got the exhaust leak tick. Reminds me of old Dick Livingston when I was a scout going up the mountain. So, anyway, here's to a good day. So, we're just going to head up the trail. Um, it's pretty cool today, so good hiking weather. And we'll get going. I'm sure I'll have to shed this coat here shortly. Just got some water in the creek there. Hopefully I got enough. So I made it to the first campsite. Um, this is where those kids I was with this whole week, they were going to camp here. Then they told me they couldn't find any water here, so they moved on to the next spot. And uh, that's where they stayed last night, I believe. So we're almost to where they were, so I didn't lose much by going into town. Just a few bucks, but I was able to buy a blanket at Walgreens. Just a throw blanket. Should add 10, 20 degrees to my sleep system. So it was a lot cheaper than buying a liner. A bag liner this morning was like $80 when, when I was looking at it. It's too bad because I have one at home sitting there doing nothing. But I should have listened to the wife. So anyways, we'll keep walking along. Pretty pretty easy going so far, thankfully. So we're climbing up this ridge and got a pretty nice view out there. Mind if I put you on camera? No, I'll tell okay. my husband that he'll see me. So this is Mary Jane. Hey. I've seen a lot of Mary Jane on the trail, but this is by far the nicest. <laughs> so where are you from? Florida. Florida, and your husband's home watching you closely. Uh, Sending packages, maybe. Semi. Sending me packages. Good deal. Today. Well, she's a retired nurse, and she's been keeping me busy up this hill, so I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, Mary Jane. You're welcome. Beautiful day. So I finally found out what these I think they look like whirling dervishes. plants are called. Interesting. She called them rhododendrons, and she said they've got a real pretty flower on them. So I've often seen these on videos and wondered what they were. Rhododendron. So there you go. So we made uh, Plum Orchard Gap. And I'm going to go down to the shelter and cook some lunch. So normally I wouldn't bother with lunch. I'd just stop and have some snacks. But I think today's a good day to just have something hot. My pack's full of food and I'd like to get rid of some of it just to get rid of some of the bulk inside the pack and I'm sure my body could use it so anyhow it's a pretty nice area pretty peaceful in here lots of pine trees wish I had those pine trees the other night when it was windy so I decided not to go to the shelter a little bit too far downhill for this guy so we just had a nice lunch and going to head Head towards North Carolina now. I think we got about four more miles. So, here we go. Hello, I'd just like to take a picture of that rock. It's kind of different. So, we're just headed up another hill. So, we've hit what's called the Blue Ridge Gap. And it looks like we've gone 5.6 miles from uh, Dix Creek Gap. So, about three or four more miles, we should hit the border of North Carolina. So, in my mind, I'm gone to Carolina. Okay, so we're 1.4 miles from the border. And uh, we've got a couple climbs left to go. So we're going to try to push on and do it. Here comes another hiker. 
How you doing? So, we're killing it. I taped up my toe and I should have done it miles ago, days ago. So, we're probably dang close to a mile from the border. Probably should grab camp, but it's pushing me. It's pushing me. So, we're gonna sneak through this tunnel. See where she takes us. I am pooped. We're gonna get this. We gotta go down a little valley here and I think down to the bottom and then back up again. And we gotta be getting close. Exciting. We made it. We made it to that stinking pipe I've been watching on TV for a year or years. Oh my gosh. For some reason, I thought I had to go back down a mountain and up again. But I cheated and checked my phone and it said 0.1 miles. And uh, that's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Especially my wife, Gina, and my kids, and uh, my folks. Um, everybody who supported me on this journey so far i cannot believe we're here if you had told me this back in october when i had my hip replaced no way no way my wife had to buy me a chair just to stand up after like the first week i couldn't even get out of a chair by myself and here we are <laughs> so excited i want to walk you guys in Thanks for all the comments, guys, and motivation. It, even little comments just has helped, has helped me so much. I read a bunch of them last night, and I'm telling you, today was a kick in the shorts. I had to push myself harder than, than I thought I could to do today. Oh my goodness. We're there, Gina. There's that pipe. I always wondered what size that is. Dewey looks like two inch. So I should have bought a, should have brought a uh, gym cap, but it looks like the gym cap wouldn't fit over there. Got the tree in the way. How exciting. North Carolina, Georgia. Wow. Good friggin' deal. Love it. I've seen this on TV so many times. We did it, Gina. Thanks for your support, sweetie. Wow, wow. Okay, so we made it to Blood Gap. It is windy and cold, so I might go a little further. I'll let these kids have this place because it's just a little bit too windy for this boy scout. So. <laughs> Fun times. So Gina told me to get a picture of this tree and uh, not only that, we're camped underneath that bad boy. So this is the tree everybody takes their picture in front of. So, once in a lifetime, we did it.